members of council and staff. My name is Lynn Myers. Oops, excuse me. I am here to speak about an issue concerning an outfit by the name of Van Guardians, a nonprofit 501c3, and an individual by the name of Mr. Barry Silverman. In this city, he goes by the alias Barry Allen, and I believe he is well known in these chambers. In September of 2007, Barry Allen set up a defense fund through his outfit, Van Guardians, for Mr. and Mrs. Thompson, who are here in the audience this evening. I contributed to this fund. My contribution was charged to my bank card and showed up on my statement under the name 5050 Leadership. A year after the fact, and Barry Allen had not turned over one cent to the Thompsons. It was only after a great deal of prodding that he finally acknowledged the contributions that the Thompsons had become aware of. He also informed them that he was entitled to a cut. In his letter dated September, no, October 2nd, 2008, addressed to Mrs. Thompson, he acknowledged these contributions and stated the amount of money he would turn over to them after he deducted his percentage. He included a check as an installment for half the amount drawn on a Bank of America account in Huntington Beach, California, the name on the account being the initials CBN with a post office box address in Glendale. No further funds were received by the Thompsons, even though they were told by Mr. Allen on numerous occasions, the check is in the mail, the check was cashed, and on and on and on, one concocted story after another. I contacted Mr. Allen on numerous occasions seeking accountability with no response, but the result being a small check issued by Mr. Allen to their attorney on September 17, 2009, not equivalent to the balance. To this date, and it will be three years in September 2010, I understand from the Thompsons, Barry Allen has not turned over the full amount as stated in his letter. And, once again, this amount is based only on the amount the Thompsons just happened to know about and which was adjusted by Mr. Allen for his cut. The Thompsons have no way of knowing how much was actually contrib contributed, and it would be very difficult to know how this Vanguardian money moves around, considering the various accounts and names he uses. Mr. Allen's, bud Mr. Allen's buddies... Herbert Milano and Mike Mohill have been aware of this issue for some time and continue their association with this individual. I now call on them to discuss this with Barry Allen and bring forth to these chambers some honesty, openness, and transparency. I call on his sidekick, Mr. Spirit to, to scratch around and also come up with some information. I ask Mr. Milano to come prepared with a PowerPoint presentation showing the money Barry Allen and Van Guardians received and exactly where it went. Did Barry Allen use these funds to pay rent arrears? Did he use the funds for a cruise? I demand to know what happened to my contribution. I demand answers and I expect for Mr. Barry Silverman, also known as Mr. Barry Allen and this muck called Van Guardians, to be exposed and held accountable. And I would ask each of you to do whatever you can to see that this happens. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to go first. Yeah, let me go first. Um, yeah, to the humanitarian, why don't you start by trying to get some money for the people that uh, were basically ripped off by Vanguardian. And I say that to you, Mr. Mohill, because you are absolutely part of Alan Silverman, Barry Allen's team. Let's not make any mistake about that. You're part of his team. The last time I saw you two together was at Foxy's when you were having your Friday morning uh, uh, get-together there. Talk to Mr. Uh, Allen, Mr. Silverman. Try to get him to give some accounting uh, of these funds. 
I mean, this is real money, and I'm so happy that Lynn Myers came to the, I hadn't spoken to her directly about this, but I'm so happy that she came to the uh, podium and gave us some details, because the details are even more troubling. We have a 501c3, we have a nonprofit. Money is, is solicited on the behalf of the Thompsons. Uh, yeah, uh, just so the record, we want Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Milano already left. Now Mr. Mohill is walking out of the uh, walking out of the uh, chamber. Um, so anyway, they're both gone, but they can review the uh, tape, or I'll mention it to them uh, next week. But what's troubling is a 501c3, a nonprofit, solicits money for people for their legal defense. Yet, while well, there's no accounting, I've been asking for a few years now, there's no accounting at all of that money. And a check is written, a small amount is written by uh, CBN, is what the speaker uh, mentioned. Meyer uh, mentioned the check was you know, CBN out of an account in Huntington Beach. It's not even written by the nonprofit that solicited the uh, money. So anyway, both to Mr. Mohill and Mr. Milano, who left uh, a few minutes ago, Mr. Milano writes articles on his blog. I mean, as part of Barry Allen, Alan Silverman's team, part of the Van Guardian uh, team, he's always asking for accountability. I'd sure like Mr. Milano to talk to uh, to Mr. Allen to see if you know they can get him to be more forthright in terms of his nonprofit and what he's done with this particular uh, uh, monies that were raised. And also, in general, I keep saying that it's a 501c3, a nonprofit corporation. Gee, it sure would be nice if the public had ideas, had an idea of what money came into that organization and what checks were written. So uh, anyway, nothing changes. That uh, stays uh, as usual. Um, but um, anyway, I'm very happy that, uh, that Ms. Myers appeared uh, this evening, and hopefully we will have some, some settlement, some semblance of understanding as to what happened to the uh, money. Thank you, Mr. Najarian. Thank you. Mr. I, Weaver. I just want to add on to that, Mr. Kintero. I, I, I own a nonprofit, too, and if it's less than $25,000 income for the year, you don't have to report on the same forms that would show the disclosure of where the money went. So it means Mr. Allen earned less than 25. That's why we can't find out. Right. But, Mr. Weaver, that's the bare minimum that the law sets. Of course. If you are in the business of transparency and better government, then, gee, I think you need to hold yourself to the highest standard. We haven't gotten it yet. And, unfortunately, the innocent uh, parties here are the Thompsons. They're the ones that were sued. They're the ones that won a judgment. They're the ones that have suffered through the whole process. And this gentleman didn't help. He set himself out as someone who's going to help these people in need, and in fact, he did the opposite.